Hey guys, Savage Warrior here bringing you some Boom Beach and continuing on with the way of the warrior. You know, a lot of new warriors tend to over smoke. I know that I sometimes still do. So today's topic is going to be on smoking efficiency and how to maximize that precious gunboat energy for when you finally arrive around the HQ. You know, in operation, it is vital for when you're asked to smoke to the back of a base and take out targets behind the core. So in the previous video, we talked about landing your warriors, and today we're going to see how to get there with smoke, one of the most crucial and critical skills to know in the game. So let's show you an example of yesterday's Dr. Terror with a one smoke landing rather than a two smoke landing. And what we're going to do is we're going to flare to the cannon and instead of going so close, we're going to leave a little bit of space because warriors are fast enough to be able to run from smoke to smoke without actually having to over smoke or overlap. So notice here I smoke left and I flag up to the corner and then quickly be able to flare up to the corner and those guys even even though there's a little bit of a crack there can get up to the target of where you want to go without any losses okay now this is a really important thing for you to understand like notice you know um, instead if you don't want to leave cracks what you can do is you can actually throw two smokes over the area that you want to flare so we want to flare up to the cannon however what you typically do I showed you in the last video where you flare and then hit the smoke in the same spot that's not what we're going to do in fact what we're going to do is we're going to hit the bottom corner of that cannon and hit the top of the corner of the cannon and both of the smokes are going to overlap each other to be able to cover your smokes or cover your warrior so that we can maximize only using five smokes and using only 20 boat gunboat energy which I'm going to get into in a, in a second here so you know if, if you find yourself over smoking this is one way you can save a lot of smoke doing the same thing we did with one smoke down laying it right there and, and how it's overlapping right there and we're going to flare so that's three smokes right there and now we only need two smokes to be able to get to our target so let's give a shout out to PlayBoomBeach.com. Although they're not an official affiliate of Supercell, they have a lot of great information. And what I wanted to show you on this website actually is that five smokes is going to equal 20 gunboat energy. Um, so a lot of bases take a little bit more. So typically if you can get up around the HQ with only eight smokes, that's pretty good. But look at the difference in cost. Like eight smokes is going to cost you 44 gunboat energy. So that's why you got to do it as quickly and as efficiently as possible. Now taking a look at the time difference between level one and level six is nine seconds to 14 seconds. So you really can't screw around when you're starting out with warriors, which actually is better because that way you can plan out your attack tax before you go now jumping over to Te dr terror stage four what we're going to do is we're going to go around this corner we're going to flare around those barrels right there and then shoot them right up to the hq right there now what's different about this map is that we only need to throw smoke where absolutely necessary. So throwing it off to the left over there, we're going to go ahead and flare over to the, the barrels or the crate over there and smoke because we're going to draw fire from the rocket launchers. Now, from this point, you got to learn how to properly space the things or the smoke because, you know, if you overlap too much, it's going to cost you more of that gunboat energy. So already we've spent one, two, three, four, five, and it's only going to cost us six smokes to be able to get over there because you can leave enough spaces in between to be able to successfully get around that HQ. Now let's take a look at a different scenario. Now, instead of smoking at all, like I said before, warriors are really quick enough that a lot of times they can get away from guys. Even if they're going to take a little bit of rapid fire from some rocket launchers, don't be afraid. Those warriors are a lot more resilient than they think. So right now we're already on three smokes, four smokes, and now we've only got up there in five smokes with 20 gunboat energy. And now look, we have 67 gunboat energy to be able to throw critters, shocks, or whatever you want to do. So let's get to the finale, Dr. Terror, stage number seven. I got so fortunate because today is a perfect example to show you guys. Once you clear out the mines, if you take a look, you got rocket launchers, you got cannons, machine guns, snipers, boom cannons, boom mines, everything in the kitchen sink is going to want to kill your warriors. So you want to get up there with as much gunboat energy as possible. So here's our line from the beach to the mortar. We're going to anchor from there and skip over to the HQ. 
Now the problem is, is there's a lot of space, so the warriors are going to tend to run around like wild chickens on the farm with their heads cut off, but if we do it right, it's only going to cost us four smokes to get around the HQ. So doing the same thing is we're going to overlap our smokes around the mortar so that way we can save gunboat energy. Okay, so are we ready? What we're going to do is we're going to flare directly to the mortar and then we're going to flare or flag right there on the beach and unleash the warriors smoking right there near the tree, overlapping our smokes and getting around the mortar where, where we flared. Now all we need to do is throw a flare, throw a smoke and go ahead and let the warriors get around there, take minimum damage around that mind. So now we're ready to rock and roll with 69 gunboat energy. Now, shocking the flamethrowers, the rocket launchers, the mortars, the everything that you possibly can with five gunboat energy, throwing an artillery right at the HQ, those shocks are going to run out because the health of these bases is like phenomenal, but even though we ran, we ran out of shocks, we should be able to take that base right like that if you're careful, you plan, and you do your smokes properly. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. Again, I'm looking for feedback, but please Please share these videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time. Aloha. Ooh,